What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we will have our virtual experiments on kinematics. The objective of this experiment is to calculate the velocity, average acceleration, and distance traveled of a car using motion graphs. The material that we're going to use is a simulation uh, provided by the physics aviary, graphing of motion lab. Okay, so let's uh, copy this link and paste it in our browser. You can choose whatever browser that you have. Uh, this ha this uh, experiment or this simulation uh, uh, uses, it can be used as a desktop application or using your tablet. So let's use desktop. Okay. So this is the simulation that we have. So let me just uh, introduce to you uh, the different parts of this uh, experiment or this simulation. So on the top part is your is the some uh, some markers or distance markers pertaining to the distance that traveled that the car has traveled. So this is your zero mark, ten meter mark, twenty meter mark and so on okay so on the left side is your velocity versus time graph so this is this will describe how the velocity of your car changes as a function of time okay so the whole experiment will cover a total of 30 seconds okay and as you will notice here okay there will be three parts, uh, three uh, uh, types of inputs that you would like to choose from. Acceleration, braking rate, and initial speed. Okay, so the acceleration has been described in several ways. It can be a Honda-like, Lexus-like, Porsche-like, etc. Okay, so in, our, in our demonstration today, the acceleration type is on the like okay so right now we're not know how much acceleration does a Honda like car has the braking rate on the other hand uh, are uh, can be Toyota like Volvo like etc in our experiment today or in our virtual in, in this demonstration we will use Toyota like and the initial speed determines how fast your car initially moves at the zero meter mark okay so in this experiment our initial speed is deer in this case okay this uh, button is your brake pad this button or pedal is your gas pedal and you can start here now, in this experiment, you are asked to give, uh, give the simulation some commands at the 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 second marks, okay, by looking at this time, okay? And these are some of the commands. Your command can be gas. So, when the command is gas, at the 5 second mark, you will press and hold the gas part. So again, you press and hold the gas part. For none, that means you will neither press the brake pad and the gas pad. Brake, on the other hand, at the 20 minute mark, a 20 second mark, you will press the brake pad for five seconds. A, as you will notice here on the 25th second mark you will still you will supposed to press brake so that means you will not uh, release the brake pad at the 25th second mark okay and then you will just release everything at the 30 second mark here okay so let's try okay so you, here we have one two three four five six commands gas none none break break and none 
Okay? So to start, just press start. And then you will see later that it the a blue line will move in your graph. Okay? So let's see. Okay, so let's start. So after you start, you have 5 seconds to press the gas. Again, when you hit the command gas or brake, the pedals, the brake pedal and the gas pedal should be pressed and then hold for 5 seconds. Okay? So it will take a little bit of practice in order to uh, get used to this simulation. Okay, so let's start. So gas, so that, so that means at the 5 second mark, you hit gas. At the 10 minute, at 10 second mark, you will release the gas. And then you will hit the brake at the 20 second mark. Until the 30 minute, a 30 second mark. Okay, so this ends the simulation. Okay, very easy, right? Now, that's only the first part of the experiment. Now, as you will notice here, that uh, from the motion graph, you can already see the velocity at the 5, 10, up to 30 second mark. Okay, so let's say, for example, velocity at the 5 second mark. See that? The velocity is at the has is eleven meters per second. Okay. Now don't forget to indicate the initial speed. So the initial speed is the velocity of your car at that zero mark. So that means this is also eleven meters per second. Okay. Now at the ten second mark, you will see that the velocity is at twenty. So this is 20, 25, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 mark. So this is 26. Okay. Etc. Okay. Now, average acceleration is this. So we say average acceleration. Okay. You can look at the kinematic equations here. Okay. So this means that the, what you're going to calculate here are, is the average acceleration from the zero mark with initial velocity 11 to the 5 second mark, which is a velocity of 11 seconds, 11 meters per second. Okay? So that means we can calculate the average acceleration. The average acceleration here is the final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time okay so in this case we can look at the calculator so that's initial velocity uh, final velocity is 11 seconds minus 11 seconds uh, LS, sorry 11 meters per second minus 11 meters per second divided by the time interval t which is 5 seconds and so this is 5 seconds so the answer is zero Okay, so the average acceleration is zero. Now we're given with initial velocity, final velocity, time interval, which is five seconds. Average acceleration is zero. So that means we can use equation number three here to calculate the distance travel delta x. So in this case, the initial velocity is 11 meters per second. And then times time. Time here is the time interval, so that's 5 seconds. So that's 5 seconds plus 1 half, so that's 0 0.5. Times acceleration is 0. Times time is 5 seconds squared. And the answer is 55. Okay, so this is 55. Okay, so that means from this point to this point, from this time to this time, the car have traveled for, five, for 55 meters. Okay, next. 
at the 10 second mark, okay, the velocity of your car increased from 11 to 26 meters per second. So that means the app, the, the velocity, the particle, or the car speed up, okay? So that means you know the initial velocity, the final velocity is 26 minus the initial velocity 11 divided by the time interval. Again, this time is the instantaneous, instantaneous time and that is different from this time t. This time t pertains to the, uh, to the uh, time interval. So in this case, from 5 to 10, the interval is 5 seconds. So we're going to write here. 5 seconds. Okay? So, the answer here is 3 seconds. A uh, 3, sorry, 3 meters per second. Okay? So, that means we already know the in, uh, time interval 5, acceleration is 3, and then velocity is 26 meters per second. So, the initial velocity here is 11 meters per second times 5 plus 0.5 times 3 times 5 squared. And the answer is 92.5. Okay. Okay. Now, you can do the rest of this experiment. And you will notice that, uh, you will notice here that at the 30 meter mark, okay, you are, or you can omit the 30 meter mark if there is a separate segment here. Or what you can see here is, uh, you can change the time at the end. So this is already 29 second mark because that is where the velocity reached zero so that you can calculate the average acceleration and the distance traveled. Okay, so you will fill up this part and you will do a separate two additional sets. This set, set two and set 3. Okay? Now, before going to set 2, there's a graph here wherein you're going to place this whole thing. Okay? So, what you're going to do is to just print screen this part of this whole part and then you're just going to save here. And don't forget to adjust adjust your graph to fit the space provided okay so do not forget this part because this is where i will check whether your input here are correct okay so you're going to do this until for set two and for set three now set three on the other hand is a little bit different now that you already, after finishing set 2, you are already used to uh, to using the, uh, the simulation. So that means I have a challenge for you. So in this case, the challenge reads, choose any sets of acceleration and brake types. So that means you can choose whatever acceleration and brake right, right, uh, braking rate that you want. And then you don't forget to indicate it here. And then the initial speed will depend on your student number. So if your student number ends with 1 to 5, your initial speed should be cheetah type. And then if your student number ends with 6 to 0, your initial speed is golden okay so now set specific uh y y this may take a, li uh, a little bit more practice because the condition says set specific uh, commands up to five 
or set specific up to five commands, gas, brake, none, at any point in time so that the car will stop. So that means at the end of this session, at the 30 second mark, it will immediately stop. So that means at uh, the last command that you should do is break. So commands, the set of commands must have at least one gas and two break commands. Okay? So for example, you choose that uh, at the, uh, you can choose uh, at uh, any specific time to give out those five commands. Okay, the maximum number of commands is only five. Okay, so it will take a little bit more practice, but I think you can do this. Okay, so don't forget to write your acceleration type, brake rate type, your initial speed, the time where you calculate, where you indicated, where you, uh, the time where you place the commands, brake, gas, or none, and then you will fill up this the rest of the columns okay but the point is that at the end of this 30 second interval uh, the velocity is zero as close as possible again don't forget to place your graph here okay now questions uh, there are several questions here that you want to answer. The spaces have been provided to you. Okay. And you have your problem solving. Okay. Problem solving here, you will, it has two parts, A and B. So the solution, unlike from the first, exper uh, first experiment, here you will type in this file your solution, solution using an equation editor. Okay, again, use the equation editor by using insert and then symbols equation so that you can type your equations here and then don't forget to write your answers on the two boxes here with the correct units. Okay, no correct unit means you are wrong. Okay, so this is your experiment today. I hope you understood the experiment and i hope you enjoyed the experiment because i did enjoy this experiment okay and at the same time i hope you learned something about kinematics using this experiment okay so that's all for now if you have questions you can contact me uh, uh, regarding this experiment and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next experiment Bye bye